hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you guys know i have not posted in a while and that is because i have been very very busy um as you guys know i have a daughter and she's about to be two so i've been busy planning her second birthday trying to make it the best as possible but anyways let's go ahead and get to the video right here i finished prepping her nails and prepping the tips uh i got done shaping them and now all i'm doing is applying my no lift primer well it's not mine like it's not my brand it's from no lift um and yeah we're gonna go ahead and do a really simple french v-tip design with some glitter right here i'm just using um this nude acrylic so i know you guys are gonna ask me what color is this um so this is a color that i custom made for my clients um but yeah hopefully soon i will make a video on how you guys can custom make your own colors um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and apply this really nice nude that complements my client's skin very well um all over the nails and if you guys can pay really really close attention um you guys can really see how i achieve a really nice smooth um acrylic application that will then result in less filing time um, which is very very good because we want to spend our less time worrying about filing and more about the application um, that's why i highly recommend everyone especially beginners to shape your nails as perfect as possible and when you're applying the acrylic to make it as perfect as possible and as neat as possible just because after when you're actually fi filing the acrylic off um, while well, smoothing it out it's less work that you have to do um, and then I know you guys are noticing how close I get to the cuticle and the way I do that is I apply the acrylic um, where the nail tip meets the uh, the nail and then I go ahead with the tip of my brush I then push it up a little bit and I kind of let gravity do its job it also depends what type of acrylic that you work with and the monomer that you use because certain monomers are fast drying um, and the same with acrylic it can vary what type of acrylic you're using um, and also a lot has to do with the temperature where you are doing the nails the colder it is the uh slower it will dry and the hotter it is the faster your acrylic will dry so keep that in mind Okay, so right here I'm gonna grab a bead and I'm gonna place it right in the middle of the nail. And if you guys pay really close attention, you guys can see that with the tip of the brush, I'm pushing it upward. And when you grab this bead, your first bead, because this is how I do it, okay? Every other nail tech will have their own way and style of doing their nails. But this is how I personally do it and it's been working for me for many many years so when i get the first bead that i start to kind of uh place in the cuticle i wouldn't say in the cuticle but by the cuticle area it is like a medium well it kind of in between uh how would i say it? it's not too dry nor too wet like it's not too dry how you would use to build the nail but it's not too wet where it's dripping everywhere it just has to be wet enough in order for it to kind of move itself into place if you guys understand what i mean not necessarily flooding the cuticle but 
in between that. And also, um, make sure to look at your nails through, well, to the side, just because it'll really ensure that you get every little spot, especially because you don't really know how the nail is looking on the side. You kind of just have an idea of what it looks when you're looking down at it. So a big, big tip that I would give you guys is please look at the nails on the side. That way you can really ensure that it's all the same thickness. Um, the tip does not have to be very, very thick, but your stress area is where you should be worried about the most because you don't want your clients coming back in within a week or even two saying that their nails broke. So yeah, be very, very mindful of the thickness of the nails. Alright guys, so now that we're done with our application, I am just going to go in with my uh, hand file and just reshape the nails really quick and then we'll move on to our e-file. Okay, so now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and use our e-file. The way I like to do it, like I said, this is personally me. Every nail tech has their own way of doing their nails. But the way I do it is I start with the sides, cleaning up the sides first, and then starting at the tip. And then we'll go ahead and move to the cuticle area, just making sure that the cuticle area is nice and flush. Like I said, you don't need to do much filing when your application is really, really nice and smooth. Um, just worrying about the cuticle area. And then after that, you're just going to go ahead and file the rest of the nail. And then all you have to do after this is just buff the nail and it's pretty much done. Simple as that. So please, please guys, focus on your application. That's what really matters because then you're filing, you basically have to do nothing. So...
All right, you guys, so now that we are done with our e-file, we're gonna go ahead and file the tips of the nails again, just to make sure that it is really nice and crisp at the tip, uh, very, very straight. That way we can just go in and buff the nails. Make sure to buff the top and the bottom, not the tip, guys, not the tip. Please, please, not the tip, because you guys are gonna take away from the um, shape and that's not what you want to do so right here i just cut that little excess skin that was right there because it was annoying me and now anyways let's go ahead and do the same to the thumb Lastly, we're just going to dust off the nails and go ahead and go in with our design. So I'm going in with Gelixer 090 uh, and that's their white color. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a little V tip and then apply my glitter on top to create the sugaring effect. Now when you guys uh, do this, make sure that it's a really nice even coat of the color. Uh, make sure it's not too too thick because then it'll be a big huge mess like it'll just create a big glob of glitter um, but don't make it too thin to where no glitter is gonna really adhere uh, nicely on the on the gel polish sorry I just lost my train of thought um, but yeah make sure it's a really really nice uh, smooth application with the glitter sorry with the gel polish and then all you're gonna do is dust on your glitter and then tap off the excess and cure it in your nail lamp uh, I would highly suggest you guys to do this one by one like do a nail and then stick it in the LED lamp and then move on to your next one because if you just do a bunch of them it could like tend to get messed up so So this is the glitter that I got. It's by Duke's Design from Freedom Glitter. It's in Pegasus. And this is, to be like completely honest, the best purchase I've ever made. The glitter is stunning. It It's like so beautiful and the shine is incredible. Like there are um, glitters where I'm like, yeah, it's, it's really pretty. But the shine is just not there and this one you guys you guys can use this to mix into acrylic colors and gel colors and for the sugaring effect oh my goodness it is literally stunning i love it i highly 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 recommend you guys to go and purchase it like i said it's on etsy i'll try and find the link and put it below that way it makes your life easier but yeah i highly recommend it it's perfect it's not too thick it's not too fine it's literally perfect and i really really recommend it um for everyone and yeah
Okay, so with my nail duster, I'm just going to vigorously remove the rest of that loose glitter that is just hanging on there that should just come off. <laughs> and in the middle finger, I'm just going to do a really simple design on the side of the nail with crystal clear Swarovski crystals. And I believe that I used SS8 and SS10 or 12. I think it's 10 or 12. One of those. And then right under that, I'm just going to do a really random design. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just did like a side V and then went along with the crystals. But hey, oh well. I was looking for a nail model to see what else I would do. But yeah, I don't know what I did with this nail. It still came out pretty cute, but I wish I would have just did a side, like a half a glitter side nail with the crystals on the side but yeah I mean I guess it came out pretty still so I'm not that mad and now into the lamp it goes and after that i'm just gonna go ahead and top coat the nails now my client has a baby so we ended up going over the glitter just a tiny tiny bit just to make sure that none of that glitter ends up coming off uh, because it can be a little dangerous for the glitter to get everywhere so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and dab a little bit of that top coat just to ensure that that glitter is going nowhere and that we will get a very very minimum amount of glitter loss so yeah And then for the top coat, I'm using DND, D, well, DND's top coat, which is a no wipe top coat. And if you guys have not purchased it, I highly recommend it for everyone because you are able to put this on top of gel polish and acrylic and any other nail enhancement. And it is just honestly perfect because it is super, super shiny and guess what you don't have to wipe it afterward no cleanse top coats are my favorite but this one is actually my favorite because number one it's very inexpensive and number two it's very very shiny and it will last like the shine will actually last a very long time so if you have not tried it i would highly recommend you guys to go and buy it they should sell it at any um nail supply store um near you or yeah pretty much anywhere that sells dnd or all of, like any other nail supply stuff so yeah if you guys have not go and buy it it's like i said very inexpensive and you guys will honestly love it All right, guys, you know the drill. We're just going to apply some cuticle oil on the cuticle area because we were a little bit rough and tough with it. So, yeah, just making sure that we bring back some moisture on the cuticles. That way they're not dry and crusty. All right, guys, this is the end result. And I hope you guys really loved and enjoyed this video. Please, please, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please make sure to comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. And anyways, guys, thank you for all the love and support. And also a reminder, 
please click that notification bell to get notified each time that i post and anyways guys thank you for all the love and support i appreciate you guys so much have a good night or a good day and stay blessed and until next time bye guys